how do you make a game? I usually just have a cool idea, run it by some friends, maybe I'll make a little design doc, and then get straight into prototyping. And then somewhere between prototyping and completion, I get distracted and never open the project again. But that's another issue. So I realized I was missing a major step that should happen right around here. That's figuring out what my target audience is. You might be thinking, target audience, that's simple trivial even, but understanding it helped me finish a project that's important to me. And I'll share the story in this video. But first, some housekeeping. I go by Shinobi. Game dev and Unreal Engine has been a side passion of mine for a while, and this channel exists to share what I'm learning in hopes it'll help you on your journey. As always, if you have anything to add or if I missed anything, please leave a comment. All right, so first, let's start by defining target audience. Target audience is the group of people most likely to want to play your game. But why does that matter? One way to look at it is from a marketing perspective. This article from Son of Mine sums it up pretty well. It's easy for developers to fall in love with an idea for a game and to develop that game based on their personal interest and preferences. However, if those interests and preferences do not align with a large enough audience, the game is unlikely to be financially successful. The point is, if you want a financially successful game, you can't just consider what you want in your game. You have to consider who's buying it. While that is great advice, most of us are nowhere near shipping a product and getting into marketing. Target audiences still matter for a ton of us in the process of making a game. I've learned that game dev, especially solo game dev, can be a very isolating hobby. It's painful to pour out a ton of effort into a mechanic in your project and think it's great, then finally show it to find out your audience is completely disinterested in it. Understanding your target audience early in the process helps act as a filter for the features you'll want to eventually add to your game. Whether you're shipping your product or not, the goal is to make the game you have in your head a reality while also resonating with the people. And it's hard to do that if you don't understand your target audience. Now to really drive home the point, let's look at some examples of failing to understand target audiences. Starting with EA. They had the Star Wars license for 10 years, and with the exception of the Jedi games, put out mostly mediocre games that didn't resonate with the audience as well as hoped. Star Wars fans have been saying they want something like KOTOR for years, and I don't think EA delivered that to them. Back in the early 2010s, a handful of EA games shipped with competitive multiplayer modes like Dead Space 2 and Mass Effect 3. These modes felt out of place and seemed weird in those specific games, but to be fair, they have groups of people that enjoyed them and want them to make a comeback in those remakes. You could also look at Microsoft. Their decision to pitch the Xbox One as the ultimate all-in-one home entertainment system. Then a game console with good software led to a lot of people losing interest and not buying. Maybe they were ahead of their time with the always online feature, but it still didn't resonate with the audience at the time and they paid for it. For a more recent example, this one's a little personal, the Last of Us Factions. I remember being really excited when it was announced, but the more news that came out about it, the less excited I became because it sounded less and less like the game I enjoyed in Last of Us 1 until it eventually got canceled. So what's the point here? Not understanding your target audience can lead to games that don't resonate well with people, design decisions that don't jive well with people, and time and resources wasted. Now for my personal example. So I just had a kid. At the time of recording, she's six months old. I thought it'd be cool to make the first game she could play and beat. While my wife was pregnant, I started working on this game, but I had no clue what my daughter would like, and therefore, I didn't know how to make something that would appeal to her. So I made some assumptions. I assumed that she'll see the games I play and have an interest in them. My game that I'm making for her should incorporate some of the mechanics that would prepare her to play those games. So I made a list, and here's the highlights from that list. I wanted her to beat World 1-1 of Mario by two years old, be a 50cc Mushroom Cup Menace by three years old, Crash Team Racer by four. I wanted her to sing Escape from the City by five, be a Kung Fu Master by seven, Outsmart GLaDOS by eight, Advent's Worst Nightmare by 10, and Elden Lord by 12, and a Necromorph Stomper by 16. Now I know, those are lofty expectations, but hey, the sky's the limit, right? So I selected a handful of mechanics to turn into a platformer, and I got to work. But a few months later, she was born and everything changed. As she grew and developed, I got to learn more about her, what she likes and what she's capable of at this age and realized the game I had been creating wouldn't appeal to her at all, especially not this early in life. I didn't know my target audience, so I designed a game I thought I'd like as a kid and it wouldn't have appealed to her at all. The result was a bunch of wasted time, which as a parent is precious. <laughs> 
So I scrapped it and made something for my target audience as she is now. I know she's been getting into problem solving, so a simple puzzle. She's learning how to interact with buttons, so I incorporated that. I know she really likes dinosaurs. Dino Spumoni is actually her favorite. So I incorporated that. And here's the result. give you this panel full of buttons what do you have to do to free dino As you can see, she clearly wasn't interested at all, but I'll chalk it up to her being too young. And I still think this prototype will be much more uh, manageable and appealing to her than the last version of this game was. But the point is, by learning who my target audience is, I was able to craft a product that's more suited for her than what I originally had. Now, I want to hear your thoughts. And a couple months ago, I entered a game jam and played every single entry and found the best one. This next video that's about to start playing details that experience. Please watch it. Peace.